Okay, so I want to review some properties of logs. Um, and uh, like I said, I think a lot of these things I said in class yesterday, um, I think a lot of these things you probably remember, or at least were taught last year. And so uh, feel free to scroll through, scan through, um, you know, check your answers. But, but uh, here are things when, when I think logs, things you have to know about logs. These are the properties you have to know. Um, so you could always break up a product into the sum of two logs or a quotient into the difference of two logs. And I'm using the term log very loosely. It could be any base, whether it's natural log, common log, or um, any particular base that you have. Um, in terms of exponents that are inside a log, they can come out as coefficients. Um, and if you have a log, like let's say log base B of A, you can always rewrite that as a quotient uh, of this to this choosing the same log so so I could both choose common log I could choose natural log which would probably be your two most common um, change of base for, um, you know answers or you could actually pick any base if you want depending on like what you're actually looking for um, and then again these all apply any base so like the log of one we know is zero the log of zero doesn't exist and if these match up you know that value is equal to one but really that's sort of like an exponent rule because it could have been like b to the first it could have come out in, you know, in front as well. Okay, so classic kind of questions to assess, do you understand those log properties? Uh, rewriting these in terms of defined variables. So if you notice here, I've defined, um, you know I've defined every natural log of two is an x and every natural log of three is a y. So if I can express these as natural logs of twos, natural logs of threes, I can use those log properties to simplify that. And so like, again, maybe you've seen these before. Natural log of 12, that's the same thing as the natural log of two squared, which is four times three. And so now I'm gonna utilize two properties. I'm going to break this up into natural log of two squared plus the natural log of three. And I'm going to use the property that two can come in front, so that's two natural log of two plus the natural log of three. And then just substitute. So that's two x plus y. And then maybe you can get to that very quickly uh, without having to necessarily show all of those steps, but that's the steps that you would go through. Okay, 1.5. That's the same thing before I even do anything with my properties. 1.5 is 3 divided by 2. Now I can take that quotient and split it into natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2. And then look at my properties. That's a y minus x. So here, log base 3 of 2. So now I'm going to use my change of base formula choosing natural log. So this is equivalent to the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 3. And notice that the quotient here is within the natural log. Here, it's two separate things. So, um, and there's no combination there. But then I know natural log of two was x and natural log of three was y. So I can go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, so then log base six of eight, I would start by saying, well, that's the natural log of eight divided by the natural log of six. At least get it into the natural log because those were the given, um, functions and then are uh, bases and then I can think of eight that's two cubed so that's natural log of two cubed and this is natural log of two times three so now I have the three can come in front and natural log of two is defined to be an x so I have a three x and this is natural log of two plus natural log of three which could be x plus y uh, log base 27 of 0.5. And again, think about that could be natural log of 0.5, which is 1 half, divided by natural log of 27. And so at least for 27, I know that's 3 cubed. And 1 half I could think of as 2 to the negative 1 if I wanted to. Or I could think of it as a quotient, doesn't matter. So that's 3 cubed, sorry. So then, the, this still looks like a terrible three, I'm sorry. The, then I can bring the coefficient in front and call it negative x on the top. And then three can come on the bottom and call it three y. Okay. 
Um, and then I like this one, natural log of one sixth. I could think of it as a quotient. Uh, maybe I'll come over here and change my color. So I could think of it as like natural log of one minus natural log of six. So I realize that um, I could break that up and the natural log of one is zero. Or I could also think of this as six to the negative one and the negative one comes from front and I still get that value. Um, so then I have the opposite of natural log of two times three, which is the opposite of the natural log of two plus the natural log of three which is the opposite of x plus y, or you could feel free to distribute negative x minus y, either way, okay? Um, yeah, so, so those are those problems right there. Um, and then, you know, I, I could work through number two as well, um, but you could also like pause the video, try them on your own, and then check the answers. Um, so here I would do um, natural log of e minus natural log of two. And because natural log is log base e, and e is itself, there's one of them, I get one uh, minus natural log of two is now an m. Log base five of 10. So I can think of it as natural log of 10 over natural log of five, and natural log of 10 is natural log of five times two over natural log of five, which is natural log of five plus natural log of two over natural log of five, which is m plus n over n is our five, okay? Um, and then 32, that's two to the fifth power. So this is natural log of two to the fifth power. The five can come in front. That's five natural log of two or five m. Okay. Now, d, I feel like when I ask this on quizzes, uh, students miss this because they, they forget that's really a base 10. So this is really log base 10 of two because it's the common log. And so now I can think of it as natural log of two over natural log of 10. And now I realize 10, two times five, split up with the log. So it's natural log of two divided by natural log of two plus natural log of five or N, no, I'm just kidding, M divided by m plus n. Saying the right thing, writing it wrong. There it is. Okay. Um, log base 25 of four. Again, think about that as natural log of four divided by natural log of 25. And that's the same thing as natural log of two squared. Should I write that a little bit neater? Natural log of two squared divided by natural log of five squared. And those twos can come in front, and we're gonna see this property in a minute here. The two can come in front. So I'm gonna cross out those twos, they cancel, um, or if I, I could have canceled it later, but then we get two, oh, those cancel. So I get um, just, try one more time, those cancel. Uh, so I just get m over n, okay? But we're gonna notice another property I'm gonna show you in the second video where if these are both like say perfect squares, you could reduce them, right? Like log base 25 of four. If I recognize, wait a minute, 25 and four are both squares and the square root technically is a power. It's the one half power. So if I do the same power to both the base and the number, this could be equivalent to log base five of two because I did the square root of 25 and the square root of four, at least the half power roots. And because these are, these are logs exponents, I don't have to worry about plus or minus, negative doesn't make sense in the context of, of logs in the domain. Well, this is the natural log of two divided by the natural log of five, which is exactly what I had. So if you forget that property, no big deal. It just could also save you some time in terms of um, some steps in simplifying. Okay. Um, and then the last one, I'm gonna have to just erase that little shortcut there. The last one, don't forget that's still a common log, that's base 10. So initially you either write or think, um, write or think that this is the natural log of 2.5 divided by the natural log of 10, as a base 10, and now 2.5 is five over two, and 10 is five times two. So it's sort of kind of a, like we have one quotient and one product. 
So a natural log of 5 over 2 would be n minus m. So here order matters. n minus m. Here it says n plus m or m plus n. Order did not matter. Okay, so yeah, so those are again classic examples that you'll just you have to remember all of your log properties in order to simplify them into the given variables.